sweet. Yeah. I love this song. She just brings a totally different energy to her live performances that is like unmatched. You know, like it's really, and, and it brings something, it brings something new to every arrangement of the song. Everything feels very epic. Get out of the crowd is like totally in the palm of her hand you know from the word go throughout the whole show the crowd is invested they're in it like she could do no wrong Maybe now we got a little banjo coming right there Still, what I love, though, is that at the heart of it, it's still all about the lyrics. It's still like about her ability as a writer to pull you in and make you feel the emotion of whatever song she's singing. Whether it's fast, slow, happy, sad, whatever, you feel it and you're in it. And, like, that's, that's what makes her, you know, that's what I think has made her career so sustainable over the years. It's amazing to see how far she has come over the years as a performer. You know, obviously she's always been such a great writer and that has followed her throughout her career. Her singing, I think, has only gotten better. Her musicianship has only gotten better. But her ability as a performer to just captivate an audience, especially an audience of this size, to captivate the audience, to bring them in, has only gotten better over the years. Oh, a little should have said no. That's an underrated song by her. Look at how she's grown in terms of like just being like fierce. You know, like having that confidence to just own the stage, you know, is like... That, that kind of like Beyonce factor and, and some others like that, that ability to just like, you know, you're going to own it, you know, and you've got that confidence and it exudes from her. Great mashup. <laughs> That's such a great song. It's interesting because I, you know, I have not seen this tour, obviously, and I saw the Eras tour, and I'm not what you would call a Swifty. Like, I'm not, like, a diehard, like, listen to every single thing she puts out. Like, I have a lot of friends who are, but I definitely appreciate and respect her. And watching these concerts, you know, I saw the Eras tour live in the movies, uh, the movie theater when they showed it. Now I'm watching this for the first, <laughs> excuse me, for the first time, like... It just gives you a whole new appreciation for the level of, of artist that she is. You know, it makes you kind of understand the popularity and the devotion that her fans have for her. It just 
Santa has a whole new energy with the live band. Have you heard it on radio so many times? Hey, look at the lights. Can we talk about just the, the outfits, the dancers, the stage, the effects, the lighting? Like, it is like... I've seen so many, you know, even in like the sports world, I know there's all the stuff with her and Travis Kelsey now, but you know, the sports uh, reporters on ESPN were talking the other day and this was, you know, not have anything to do with Kelsey, but they were saying, you know, I went and saw her concert and it was like the best show that I've ever seen. All these different elements, you know, come together to make this show just unbelievable. Wow. That was awesome. Come on. A little synth solo, baby. one of my favorites of the show so far. And I got it in the ooh, it's a cruel summer, it's cool, and that's when I tell them no rules, and breakable heaven, but ooh, it's a cruel summer with you. 